Welcome to the video series on rectal cancer. In this video, we'll be talking about stage 4 rectal cancer. We call any cancer stage 4 when the cancer has spread to distant organs. Distant organs means an organ or a part of the body which is not closely related to the cancer. In rectum, most commonly we see liver and lung and sometimes bones as a site of metastasis. Stage 4 cancers are advanced cancers. So patients in stage 4 come with severe symptoms like it could be obstruction where there is a blockage to the passage of the stool. It can be pain in the abdomen. It can be pain in the site where the cancer has spread like the liver or in the bone or it could be cough and severe forms of symptoms because of the spread of cancer. Many times the patient may come to us with very confusing symptoms because we don't know where the original cancer is from. So in these situations, we perform multiple tests in the beginning to reach a conclusion as to where it is from. It could be a PET CT scan or a CT scan and then a colonoscopy to localize and get a biopsy from the tissue. Once it is confirmed that it is a stage 4 cancer arising from the rectum, we plan the treatment. A certain proportion of stage 4 rectal cancers could still be cured. So generally, once we confirm that it is stage 4 rectal cancer, we go about seeing whether this particular rectal cancer can be attempted for a cure or not. Cancers that are spread to lung and liver we can manage by removing the portion of the lung or liver performing a surgery or using radiotherapy or some other means. But it has to be a limited amount of disease. Whenever we can perform surgery for these cancers, we see approximately a 40 to 50 percent cure rate. But if we can't, we can't save most of the patients. There is another segment of rectal cancers which are spread to the abdominal cavity or peritoneal cavity. In these cancers, we will be able to perform a surgery called cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC which we will discuss in some of our future videos. So overall, a stage 4 rectal cancer is not a very great scenario to be in. We are, our attempt should be to diagnose rectal cancer in early stages. So it is always better that a cancer is diagnosed early and we are able to give excellent results when we diagnose them early. It is extremely important for everyone to remember that screening is one of the ways in which we can prevent full-blown colorectal cancer. Screening is performed by either a stool test to check for blood in the stool which is performed once in a year or by performing a colonoscopy once in 10 years. These tests have to start at the age of 45 and at least have to go on till the age of 75. Screen detected cancers can be cured very, very easily. So it's extremely important that every individual undergoes screening. Thank you.